The title of the sermon today is Your More is in God. First of all, there is nothing wrong with desiring for increase, for growth, or for more, you know, whatever word you want to use or whatever word you're comfortable with, whether you like the word more or increase or growth, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, there is nothing wrong in desiring that. Now, I want to say that because many of us believers, you know, we take the wrong position that, okay, I, I, you know, I shouldn't desire for more. You know, you know, God might get upset with me. God might, you know, get angry with me if I want more. But if you read the Bible, just, just with an open heart and mind, you will find that God is not against increase. God is not against growth. God is not against uh, being fruitful or having more, whatever, in whatever area of life, maybe, whether it's financially, whether it's, uh, you know, in your, in your ministry or uh, profession, whatever. Uh, God is not against you moving up, uh, increasing, uh, profiting. God is not against that. You know, in fact, God desires fruitfulness. And so, you know, for many of us Christians, for many of us believers, we need to have a literal change in our thinking. We need to demolish. We need to get rid of this wrong idea that, you know, uh, 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 just a little is okay. Uh, you know, my little corner and that's all I'll have and that's enough for me. No, no, no. That is not biblical thinking. In the Bible, God wants you to have much more. God wants you to be very fruitful. God is not against our increase, but we must pursue increase in the proper manner. Pursue growth, pursue increase, pursue fruitfulness. Whatever that means to you, it'll mean different things to different people. But whatever increase and growth and, 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 and multiplication, whatever that means to you, pursue it in the right way. Avoid wrong motivations and wrong methods when you're pursuing increase. Avoid wrong motivations and wrong methods in increase. Avoid that. Because that kind of increase is not from God. Uh, and, and then you must avoid it. If you want to receive the increase that comes from God, avoid that. Stay away from that. Make a conscious choice that you are not going to pursue increase or growth or multiplication through wrong motivations or through wrong methods. Secondly, avoid wrong methods when you're pursuing increase. And we are aware of this, but I just want to remind you today, maybe somebody needs to hear this. You know, maybe you're thinking about doing something, but there is something not right uh, about the method in which you're going to go about, uh, uh, you know, getting your increase. So don't do it. If the method is wrong, don't do it. Look to God alone for your increase because your more is in God. You need to tell yourself, you know, my more is not about worrying about that person who's, who might be doing better than me or worrying about that person who may have more than me. That's not how my increase is going to come. My increase is going to come from God and I'm going to look to God alone for my increase. As you and I look to God for our increase, you say, God, whatever I do, let it be the Lord doing it through me. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Now, it doesn't mean we should not labor. So don't misquote or misapply that scripture. It doesn't mean you just sit down there and do nothing and so God will do it. No, 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 no. It's talking about you doing your labor, but it's got to be God working through you. And the Bible says, unless the Lord builds, those of us who labor, you know, it's going to disappear, it's going to go. But if the Lord builds, there's going to be increase, there's going to be strength, there's going to be stability, there's going to be sustainability, there's going to be durability, there's going to be expansion when the Lord builds through you and me. When you see increase in your life, always remember to honor God with your increase. But you know, when you honor God with your increase, you are demonstrating, you're telling God, God, whatever I have has actually come from you. You're saying, God, I'm giving you the glory. God, you're, you're saying, God, it's not the fact that I sowed or somebody watered, but God, you gave the increase. And so I'm honoring you with it. I'm giving you the glory. I'm giving you the praise. So always remember to honor God with your increase. And that that's when you're going to see the work of God come through to bring increase and growth in your life.